if we're truly Cadillac's new flagship, it might well fly Zad banner of surrender. Because by any reasonable accounting, the CT6 is not a direct competitor to the big German luxury barges. But that's okay. Like the first two generations of sedans, the CT6 is something of an in-betweener. Bigger than the midsize class but less replete than the luxury full-sizers. It covers roughly the same dimensions as the short wheelbase that BMW doesn't sell here. But for just $54. 490 about what you'd pay for another BMW. A nicely appointed you can get into a base CT6 with a 265 HP Turbo 2.0 liter. As Cadillac tries to manage the high wire act of balancing sales volume with prestige, a sharper sword in the form of a twin turbo V8 has been pledged to the CT6 and hints of an even larger and more majestic Cadillac built off the same new platform continue to circulate. But for now, this is it. A handsome four-door with a four, a six, and a turbocharged six that acquits itself well as a sports sedan that just happens to have a bigger back seat and five more inches of corresponding legroom than the CTS. It will certainly sit atop GM's luxury throne for now, the platinum spec car we drove carried a sticker north of $88. Oh oh oh. While the CTS is underpinned by the steel Alpha platform it shares, with the end the CT6 is the first vehicle to ride on GM's Omega platform, which is about two-thirds aluminum with the last sliver of pie stamped in steel. At 4,371 pounds. Our test car weighs just 11 more than the last aluminum-intensive Audi A8L to hit our scales. The aluminum in the CT6 is mostly situated at the ends of the 